Hey everyone, today we are testing the new FSD for Tesla. All right, yesterday I got this update uh, with FSD version 12.5.1.5 and we'll talk about it today. So in short, version 12.5 is a significant update, which is supposedly is driving much better, much smoother and well, pretty much human-like. It's still not ideal uh, according to people feedback, but today we are going to check what is going on with this particular version of FSD in Canada, in Kelowna. So it's going to be some kind of a stress test for this vehicle. We'll see. And well, it's going to be fun. So I'm sitting in the car right now. Everything is set and I'm ready to go. And it's ready to go, I guess. So, okay. So the first thing I want to check uh, how it behaves on my neighborhood intersection. It doesn't have any stops. It doesn't have anything really. Uh, that says to car what to do here so uh, it's going to be interesting because well uh, I, I've seen different kind of behavior here and this is pretty good this is pretty smooth so now we are at the left turn and it's pretty complicated because it's obstructed on the left and on the right is a uh, downhill going down and even for a human driver it's difficult to uh, to turn to the left here and the stop sign is on the right it's perfect awesome uh i'm yeah i'm impressed really great job this is a traffic light and we need to turn to the left uh, i would not expect here any complications at all so we will see uh what the car is doing all right awesome that's pretty great They still didn't fix the, that weird glitch when your windshield wipers are trying to clean the windshield for some reason when it's a sunny day and the windshield is pretty much clean. I don't know why it's happening, but it is. We'll see what is going on here because the construction site is on the left. Yeah, okay, uh, the car recognized the left turn lane and there is an upcoming traffic ahead. Uh, yeah, it stopped properly. It's a lot of traffic, by the way. Okay, the last car, we have a huge gap, and this guy shouldn't do that. Yeah. No hesitation at all, super smooth, and uh, yeah. Another thing, uh, here uh, it was a uh, navigation problem where the car... Yeah, awesome. It's our left turn. The car started moving. It got the blinker on, everything is great. Yellow light. Yellow light was passed perfectly well. Now we need to turn to, yeah, we need to change the lane. Okay, wow. And it's a lot of traffic as you can see. Uh, we need to turn in 600 meters to the right. So the car will try to squeeze in between of those uh, cars on the right. Okay, it, it put the blinker on. Wow. Okay, it found that gap, but it was not ideal. I would say I would change the lane like uh, like with this kind of traffic, maybe a, a kilometer away. So uh, like three quarter miles away. Okay. 
should be the next turn to the right after this one. Okay, there. And it is going there, and there is a curb on the right that was almost hit by, by the car last time, and well, it, wow, it's navigating in the in the parking lot. We'll go to the next one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, good job. Okay, there is a car and... Oh, this is sick. This is sick. Okay, now the construction site. This one doesn't look anything complicated. Yeah, that's fine. Just a couple of uh, construction codes. It's funny though, I, I remember when I received my version 3 hardware and I was first in Ontario who, uh, who got that update and then they figured out something isn't working properly and, well, not with my car, but with the update, like with the procedure itself and they postponed that procedure for a few months. So I basically was the first in Ontario who got it. And I was so excited when I, when I, when I saw that the car sees uh, construction cones. I was like, yeah, construction cones. So here it goes, there are some construction cones on the right and on the left, and they're all shown on my dash screen. <laughs> this is great. And now it's like, oh, it's a lot of construction cones. Whatever, the car will figure it out. Okay, uh, now we are going to our third destination, I think. Um, okay, I'll press the acceleration pedal because there is a car behind me and it is showing that uh, the speed limit is 30 kilometers an hour. The reason for that is because we are passing by the school. Now it's summer, there are uh, no kids in the school and uh, well, the car should move here at 50 kilometers an hour. Um, I think, well, I'm pretty sure in that. Okay, turn it to the right. Okay, this is another uh, small local neighborhood that I want to check. This turn, and she's far away, so car is just turning to the left, which is fine. It is amazing to see such a great uh, prog. It's a th version three hardware, which is slower and which is using a different build of FSD uh, with less parameters, meaning it's quite less smart. I'm super impressed. Oh, okay. Left turn on the highway, we have some leading cars, so it shouldn't be a big deal, but I'm, I still, uh, I still think that, wow, it's like, yeah, it's very smooth, again. Filming in the summer is kind of a disaster, because when it's hot outside, all your gear is becoming way too hot. Alright, so this video is complete, there is no video after that anymore. If you don't like it, don't forget to tell me about that in the comments down below, because it's very important. Thank you for your time.